Hey everybody, this is Robin from Our Wild Way, and we are just about to start, actually we did start, um, our the second half of our prehistory unit, and this has to do with early man. Um, so here are some of the awesome resources we're using for this unit. I will go through each one um, with you so you can get a closer look, uh, but so far we're really enjoying them. Uh, this, the s -born, um Encyclopedia of World History. Uh, we have used this from the beginning and we'll be using it through the next next um, no, four years, I think. Same with this one. It'll go through modern history. Um, we've got this awesome, um, our amazing cave paintings, art and science kit. And then we have some early tools that I will be sharing with the kids and we'll be talking about their uses, how they were made. Aren't they cool though? Look at this one. Look at this one. It's got the geode in it. Awesome? Alright. So these two books are the spines um, that we're using for history. I have a couple others that we're using as well. Um, other DK books. Um, like a, a city through time and a street through time. Um, but these are two that I really wanted to share because they start out with early man. Um, and this is the Usborn, a story, a short story um, of the world, or history of the world, I'm sorry. It goes, it's got the ancient world, medieval, early modern, and modern, and this is just a quick, quick little synopsis of each era. And it's just, it's just fun to add in. Simple illustrations, not a whole lot of color. Um, yeah, just a cute little, good summary. It's a great for um, before bed. And then this is an absolutely fabulous book. If you do not have it for history, I really, really highly recommend it. It goes from um, the Big Bang all the way through history, um, all the way through the last 500 years. So it starts at the beginning and just keeps on going. So this is where we're starting with this unit. Um, and it goes through, you know, tool making, fire, exploring, ice age, all of that. So this internet linked encyclopedia, it's an awesome um, resource to have for your history curriculum. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Okay, so here we have, um, you wouldn't want to live without fire. And these books are a lot of fun. Uh, they're kind of, they're, they're not satire, but they're, they're just funny. They make this information accessible to kids. Um, and they come in so many different topics, a lot of history, some tech. Uh, but this is a great one to check out from the library. I don't buy them um, just because there's so many and they're just, they're, they're a good one to check out. Oh, let's see. This is an awesome book from King Fisher. This is um, the best book of early people, and um, it's really nicely illustrated with a lot of great information in here. Um, the pictures are bright, and um, it, it's it's really nice. It goes all through the different stages of human evolution, um, all the different stages of um, of man. And we'll be reading this over the next two weeks. That's about as long as our early man study will be. Well, three weeks, two to three weeks. So yeah. Next, we have these two DK books. Um, we started um, last week with archeology span we're doing archaeology, early man, and early farmers. So it, it is a three week spread. Um, these DK books, I have one for um, just about every every stop in history. 
and they are excellent. They are so good. So yeah, if you do not have decay books, I suggest these eyewitness books um, to be part of your collection. This early human book. We'll definitely be reading through this quickly. I mean, we won't read everything, but we will go through it at least. Um, you know, we'll go through this flint working with these um, cool examples that I have, and I might even try to find some stone for the kids to try um, to shape, shape some tools um, themselves. I also have an arrowhead that I found, um, and I gotta pull that out for them too. Now that I'm thinking about it, isn't this one cool? Look at with the um, with the geo through the center. Oh, cool! Yeah, aren't these neat? Yeah. So yeah, I got these from a historian's estate sale. So I just can't, I cannot pass up stuff like this um, when I find it out in the wild uh, <laughs> um, estates. It's state sales. What? I love it. We have this too. And I I'll have them look through here. It's probably a hammerstone. Yeah, hammerstone. Um, so along with the archaeology book, we also have archaeologists dig for clues. And this is a really cute um, read and find out science book. I really like the series. And um, this is a good, it's a good one. It's just simple and fun read. Let's see here. So we've got this um, DK level two life in the stone age. A lot of nice photographs. Um, I will have the kids read this one on their own. Um, then I have this great Usborne book, um, The Great History Search. So, we will be doing early people, and I love how it gives a little bit of information about um, each item that you have to find in here. And then first farmers, and it keeps going through history, so this one's going to be really fun um, to use this whole year. I think it actually goes further than just this year, we'll be using it. Yeah, through um, through medieval times and early modern. And this is one of my favorite things I picked up for this unit. This is an Usborne Activities book, um, an Ice Age sticker book. So I try to get little interactive things like this whenever I can find them. Um, there's just a little bit of information and, uh, you know, they're, they're comical and um, cartoony which sometimes I stray away from, but these are fun and they're gonna be um, great for the kids to work on while I'm reading some of these nonfiction um, books too. There's a lot of stickers, a lot of different activities. I mean, not activities, but a lot of different pages to do the stickers on. I will, um. I'll link some of these books down down in the description if you're interested. And I also picked up this one at the library um, to include little toddles in it. And it is so cute. It's S's for Sabretooth, a Stone Age alphabet. And it is super cute, oh my gosh. I love getting just a little something for her. Um, something else that you could get would be a um, safari tube. Um, Stone Age tube uh, and I looked at Michael's the other day and they were all out so um, that's why I don't have one. This we're going to do tomorrow and I will be doing a full how-to video um, on this box. This is our amazing cave painting art and science kit. I've had this for ages and um, it's just been waiting for us to do it. So let's see what we've got in here. I will be doing it as soon as we do it, but I just want to give you a quick. So it's got an instruction manual with different cave paintings. Um, what else? There's a cool poster. Oh, this is awesome. Cool. I'm really excited 
to do this one. All right, so tune in for the video um, on how to do cave paintings, and I will link this kit down in the description. I hope you enjoyed our little unit on prehistory, early man. Um, definitely tune in for the next one. Our next stage will be Egypt, and we have got all kinds of fun activities for Egypt. So um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.